Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's Friday, and that means Modern Steader update. Pluto's excited. It's a heat wave here in northern New Hampshire. Yesterday we were 20 below zero, and this morning we are almost four. The high today, I believe, is six. That's what, 26 degrees warmer than yesterday's low. I am excited. I'm still getting over the cold or whatever it was I had. Been drinking lots of kombucha. Taking my homeopathics, white oak bark, elderberry syrup. Let me show you what we got going on down here. I got another batch of kombucha brewing and I started some sauerkraut with red cabbage. We've gotten over 700 thumbs up on the video where we were making the brownies and I said if we get 600 thumbs up, we'd post the recipe. I just posted the recipe this morning on our website. I'll put a link to it in the description down below or you can go over to lumnaacres.com. I've been messing around with trying to get a good bread recipe going. I'm, I made a monster last night. It's all wrapped up, but that's one loaf of bread. We're going over to some friend's house tonight, so fingers crossed it tastes good. What are you doing? It's like a constant wrestling match with these two. They remind me of Tom and Jerry, but they're a dog and a cat. Over here, we're working on a neat little project. Leave it in the comments down below if you think you know what it is. Let's check in on the root cellar. It's 41 degrees in here. I've been keeping the door open about that much when it's been about 20 below zero and it's been staying 36 so it was open last night and it's 41 so I'm happy with that the vents are both closed frosted up quite a bit our cave has been working awesome we got potatoes up high spaghetti squash in here I've been having some kombucha but I drank it all another loaf of bread we have the bacon that we smoked the other day Hanging. Oh, it's like a big walk in refrigerator. I like it. Now that I know we can hold a good steady temperature, whether it's cold outside or super cold outside, we can get in here organized and we can start utilizing this area more and get some more meats hanging. I'm excited for that. That also means we get to organize. That bacon's not for you, mister. Like I was saying before the cat interrupted us, that means I can start organizing our basement. It's a mess. We had all that stored over here in shelves. When we built the root cellar, we kind of just moved everything around. Now it's time to get organizing. When I wasn't feeling that well, I decided to mess around and get some more preservative and oil on my apron. It's looking awesome. The color's changed and it's darkened up. So we have the original color after we oiled it or after we put the bees butter on it the first time. And we have the new color, which I think is nice because you got your contrast. The straps stayed lighter. And we got a nice dark soft leather. It's still drying but I'm excited to get this finished up and start using it. It's another really good use of our wood stove. We can hang our leather goods in front of it while we're oiling them, preserving them, whatever you'd like to call it. Let them warm up, dry, exciting. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video that we put out the other day on our wood stove. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right here. That's been our most requested topic all winter long. I've been getting texts, I've been getting emails, I've been getting Facebook messages, 
comments. It's going on and on and on. Everybody wants to know about the wood stove, so we did the video. I hope I went in depth on it enough. It's warm out today. It's six above. That's warm right now for this time of the year for us right now, which is crazy. Tomorrow we're supposed to get six inches of snow. And then on Saturday, the high for the day is eight below zero. That's gonna be crazy cold. We're gonna be staying inside on Saturday. I went to our local feed store yesterday and I said, hey, do you got any more of that Vermont compost organic seed starter? He says, yeah, it's outside frozen. He goes, I said, I'll take it. I wanna make sure we have it when we need it. Last year we went to start all of our seeds here. We wanted to start super early so we'd have a good, nice tomato plant to put outside so we could have BLTs middle of summer, which worked out perfect. They didn't have our seed starter. It was hard to find because that time of the year, most people aren't thinking about starting their plants inside, but it's really when you should be. So we got our seed starter. I'm excited. The seeds are ordered. They were shipped. We'll be getting them hopefully either maybe when this video goes out the next day or by Monday. Ah, I'm dreaming of BLTs with pasture-raised bacon and homemade bread. So we got to tweak our bread recipe. Figaro, are you excited? I think he's excited too. I wanted to thank everybody. We're just about at 17,000 subscribers, so that means when we hit 20K, we're giving away our Yardbird Chicken Plucker, brand new in the box. This is what it looks like once you build it. That's what it's gonna look like if you win and it arrives on your doorstep from UPS. Sorry about that, I had to put the compost in our root cellar. Figaro was trying to eat it, and it's not Vermont compost compost. It's Green Mountain compost made in Vermont. You ready to go feed the animals? Is that a yes? You coming? Come on. You ready to go out? It sure is beautiful out here. Another reason why you want to keep your winter chicken coop close to your house is it's cold in the winter time. You don't want to have to walk crossway around your farm to feed your animals. I don't at least. I think the ducks are waiting for their morning cup of coffee. I'll tell you what, I really appreciate our frost-free outdoor water spigot with hot water this winter. And I bet the animals love it too. So at first, while the very tip is still frozen, it comes out up here, takes a second.
go check in on the pigs. New York City is holding up nicely this winter. Look at that nice coat of insulating snow on the roof. Pluto, get over here. Get over here. I wanted to show you how deep the snow is. That's the top wire for our pig's electric fence. Funny story, the other day I was plowing, the pigs are out here running around, having fun watching me plow, I guess they were all excited. They came to this corner, they couldn't stop, they hopped over, got them back in, easy peasy, it was pretty funny. But I've had them locked in the pen since until I am able to put another strand of fence up because the snow is so deep. Another funny story about the electric wire for the fence is, I don't know if you can see it, but that wire is broken. I walked across it the other day when it was 15 below zero. My foot barely touched the wire and the wire broke in half. Crazy. There's the other end over here. So we have a few fence repairs we need to make before we let the pigs back out in the big run. With it being so cold, I think they're happy with their 16 by 16 pen. Good morning. It's a little bit warmer today, huh? They're doing great with all this cold weather. I just keep giving them more hay. They take the hay and they bring it right inside the tote. It doesn't seem to matter how much hay you give them, they find a way to get it all to fit. They have whatever they've had for hay and then yesterday I gave them a whole nother bale and they brought it all inside. You girls are crazy. As long as you're staying warm and healthy. They're growing nice, even with the cold weather. The automatic feeder works perfect. I'm really glad I took the time to build that. If you, didn't, if you haven't seen how we built that, I'll put a link to the video right here of how me and Olivia built the automatic pig feeder. Stay warm and keep eating. So beautiful up here in the winter time. It's worth it. It's worth the cold to see this beautifulness. Look at the outdoor kitchen. That's beautiful. Oh, Pluto, you look so majestic in the snow. It's been so cold out lately, we haven't gone in the outdoor kitchen. Me and Gina were just talking about that last night. We were just saying, oh, we can't wait till the nice weather comes and we can start using the kitchen again. It's been so cold. If you want to see more of the outdoor kitchen, I'll put a link right here to our outdoor kitchen tour video we did uh, probably two weeks ago now, when it was a lot warmer. A Kubota sits out here, probably an ice block. It's been so cold. The smoker's doing good, sitting there waiting for us to smoke some more bacon. Pluto, you got a beard. 
Let me see your beard. It's cold outside. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna get some more hay for the chickens. Then I'm going inside to warm up. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and a little bit of crazy. Bye.